Hey guys, what is up? Aragorn here, and today I'm bringing you my second tutorial house ever. Now, this house has a particular spot in my heart, as it is the second house, second modern house, I ever, ever built. So, it, it's pretty cool. I built this actually a year ago. Right now, I'm just taking you through a tour of the house. You can see we have an interior, and if you caught a glimpse of it, You'll see it in a second. We have the exterior as well. This was kind of built in the Corallus style. If you guys don't know who Corallus is, uh, that's a little weird because pretty much everyone who watches my videos knows who Corallus is. Anyway, this was built in the Corallus style. It was, a, you know, like I said a year ago, before I really got into the realistic style of building and the more artistic form instead of just random shapes. Anyway, I hope you do enjoy the house. I put a lot of time and effort into this, uh, especially into making this tutorial. What else? Oh yeah, I might as well take this time to say a few things about uh, my channel updates. Now, I was thinking of of starting a, a survival Let's Play series. Stay tuned for that. However, there is a chance that I will be joining a server with other YouTubers, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, wish me luck on that. If that happens, I won't be starting a Survival Let's Play series, because we would be doing that on the server, and it would be a loads of fun with other people. Second thing, I got a donation link. In case you guys ever feel the need to help out, I don't ask at all if from the goodness of your heart, you feel like you'd want to support me, go ahead, the link is in almost all of my videos. Uh, if not, you can find it on my channel. Any donation is appreciated from one cent to ten thousand dollars. We have different prizes, I'll even build you a house and put you in a video. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I hope to see this house on all of your servers. Let's get on with the tutorial. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is build out a path, and I'm building this on a plot in a city, so mine is a little bit of lag, so mine is going to be uh, 5 blocks wide, or 5 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's just put this in, and I'm going to put these slabs at the end, that's going to be our doorway. As for this section, I'm just going to sort of uh, line the path with uh, slabs again. Now. Let's start uh, laying out the foundation of each of the things. I'm actually going to uh, stop the video right now and resume when everything's laid out, and then I'll, I'll quickly go through it. Alright guys, so I've got the layout all set out, and I don't know, it's looking a little crazy right now. So let's walk you through what you have to do. Um, so beside the door frame, you're going to have two blocks right here. Uh, right next to it, you skip a block right there. You're going to place another one of your smooth, stands, smooth sandstone. Uh, skip two more blocks and you're going to put a smooth sandstone plus uh, two snow blocks. And then up into the corner another sandstone. Two more snow blocks. Skip two blocks. Put three snow blocks in a row. Skip a block. Two more sandstone. Then you're going to make si kind of like an L shape. You're going to put sandstone right there. Now onto the back side, you're going to skip two blocks, sandstone, two blocks, uh, three snow blocks, two blocks, two snow blocks, up into the corner you're going to put another smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone, skip one, and keep going like this, so you skip them in a row like this, and you're going to keep doing this till you get to here, so that's four over in the front, put two in a row, and then you're back to the starting one. Nice! Alright, so we are going to start actually with this column. You're going to want to bring it up so it's four blocks tall. And then you're going to want to bring it over so that it sort of cradles this block right here. And let it connect with this part here. That's going to create a really cool effect right there. And actually, you can bring this block up to about there, I think that works, doesn't it? Well, actually one less. There we go. So you're going to bring that up so it's seven blocks tall. 
On the other side, you're gonna actually bring this up. Let's uh, let's do that, and it's gonna be one block taller than the other one, so that's five blocks in total. Um, and with this one, you're actually going to drag it around until it touches where this block would be extended, right? So, oops, you're gonna do uh, something like this. And actually, this part, don't fill it in, because this is going to be our back balcony. So you're just going to want to extend it one more block so it reaches the uh, face of the building. And it's all beautiful. Nice. So let's start raising these columns. And it's okay. It doesn't matter how high you do it right now. Uh, just do it high enough so that, you know, later on we can do it, actually. Let's see. We could probably... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. The roof is going to go here. We're going to need one more, so bring it up to uh, ten blocks in total and just cap it off right there. That's uh, approximately the height of the building. As for this one right here, I think it should stay at that height. And actually, all the columns you're going to want to bring it up to this height, so that's actually seven blocks. Almost all of them. Some of them are uh, capped off at different heights, but for the most part they're all at that height. So actually we could do the same right here. Bring it up to seven blocks. Nice, nice. So you're going to want to actually bring this one up one block higher than all the others and you just want to bring it around nice and easy all the way around the front of the building and if I'm correct it should end at about the same place as this so that's right here yep alright and actually you're gonna probably want to Take it out one block more. Ah, what am I doing? Great! So you see that? This is actually going to be... We've already got the basic structure of the house down. Nice! You can uh, fill in the rest of this, I guess. That area. I think I made a mistake when we were actually doing this. This should not be this tall, I believe. It is ended around there. Yeah! And you're gonna wanna just bring this up one more. There. This one you're gonna wanna bring up... Whoa. Uh, one block higher, so that it's uh, that height. And this one you're gonna wanna bring it up so it's five blocks tall. Nice! And actually, this entire side you're going to want to bring it up so it's five blocks, so that each of them are five blocks tall. Very simple. Not too difficult. We've already got a lot of the columns in the house done. Great, now we're on to this side. This you're going to want to bring up to the same height as the other section of the roof, which is this tall. And this one actually, you can bring it almost all the way around the entire building. So this one actually wraps around each of these. So you're going to want to make sure that, you know, you have a... It should be, if you were to draw a line up, would be around there. Nice, and you want to just bring it back until you can connect it with this white pillar here, or this white pier. Nice. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Now these you can bring all the way up until they're touching. <laughs> nice, and the same with this one right here. And you're just going to want to bring a bridge sort of across right there in the middle of them. 
And actually, you can go across and do the exact same thing, almost, on the other side, except you're going to do it so that it's two blocks off the ground. That way we can fit our door right in there. Now, coming back to the back, you're going... Coming back to the back, nice. Um, you're going to want to bring this one up all the way until it's the same height as the other two that we already did. So it doesn't get so much more confusing. I'm going to start putting in windows and floors right now because otherwise all the different, uh, you know, shapes and stuff get crazy and we really don't want that because it's already crazy enough. So, uh, sadly, I used full window blocks here. Ah, uh, It's making me angry. <sighs> the things I do for you guys. Put these different blocks all, all right beside each other. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay, I'll get through it. We can actually bring these all the way up. Nice. Same with this section here. And if I remember correctly, this is a kind of skylight sort of thing going on right there. I'm going to put in the doors right now just because I feel like it. There we go. And we have more glass panes over here. Nice. And right here, I believe, there's also... Yeah, these are all glass panes, but I wouldn't put in any uh, glowstone just because... These are going to lead down to a basement, and if we put glowstone right here, we're going to have to delete it later, so there's just no point. Alright. Right here, you're going to want window panes. Um, right. I can actually bring this up while we're at it, just so that it's all nice and even. Right here, we have glass, and you just want to bring this up the whole way. Nice. So, you want to just continue making these beautiful, beautiful windows. All the way up. Actually, this part, you can use window panes. Nice. Makes me happy that we don't always have to use the uniform glass blocks, and I'm lagging a bit. Here, I guess we could actually do the same. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. Window panes. Um, this part is going to be just solid glass blocks, and this is going up all the way till the top. And those are all the windows, basically. Nice. So uh, let's get on to the flooring. So the floor is actually, if 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 you saw the first part of the video, you'll notice that the floors are actually divided in uh, different sections. So we can uh, start doing that. By the way, this is jungle wood, uh, in case you didn't know. Really, you can use whatever type of flooring. It doesn't even have to be wood. Just go ahead with whatever you think. Uh, looks great. I bet it does. And nice, we're all done there. Right, so uh, let's actually start putting in the next floor. So that's just going to go three blocks above the other. Nice. Alright. So, actually, you can start making these uh, columns right here. They'll be going up to the same height as this one, and you have three of them in a row. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is build one right in the middle here of the other ones. 
So you have a space of two and two on either side, and this is where the stairs are going to go. All fine and dandy. All right. So we can actually get started on the stairs then. Um, all right. Nice. Great. Awesome. Whoa. The stairs are going to go right here. I'm actually going to connect them a bit like that just to make them a little you know, softer on the edge. And they're going to go up to the next floor, which is actually right here. And this is where you can start laying out the next floor. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is build some stairs right in here. If I can uh, finally do it. Oh. Hello and welcome. Nice! So, we're gonna build our next ones up once more a block ahead. We're gonna build them up, and this is gonna lead sort of to a balcony, which we can actually start setting up right now if we wanted to, and I think we will, why not? So, we can uh, grab your snow blocks and just you know, build them out one, 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 one farther, like that. We're going to build them all the way around. Make it nice and even. And yeah, that should be... Uh, I think that's fine. And we can actually start on the balcony here. So you're just going to want to... Whoa, actually... Grab your sandstone slats. And you're going to bring them across like this. There we go, we've got our balcony floor set up. This place actually, because it's going to be a door, you can remove that. It's going to be all nice. This you can also bring out one more, so that it at least slightly disconnects that. Why not just connect it all the way down? And put in your door. So that's our little door that's going to be going right there. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Now you can finish up the rest of this. Now this part gets a little bit tricky if you're not watching carefully. So make sure you are watching carefully and uh, we'll try to get it done and all smooth. Uh, actually, I'll take out this part. Bring this all the way back so that it's touching here. Of course, actually, you can delete that because we're not going to be needing that at all. Uh, and you will see why. <clears throat> so this is essentially the main roof, or at least the roof of the upper floor, so just connect this all. Alright, so you can actually take this uh, this glass pane, or the glass, I mean, and uh, you can stretch it out a little so it creates a little bit of a divot. Uh, that's just going to allow some extra light into the room and it'll make it seem a little more spacious, which is always good. Uh, here you can extend this one out two more blocks. So you've got a much nicer sort of feel. And that's really it for the rest of this uh, for the rest of this roof other than the fact that we can extend this column up slightly and I'm gonna go look for these slabs wherever I can find them here or some you're just gonna cap it off while you're at it cap off the top of this because we might as well and uh, you've got the main house done nice isn't this awesome so far now Right here, you're going to actually want to raise this roof up two more blocks. And you're going to want to carry this out uh, quite a bit farther, uh, basically until you reach this point, or one over, because if you were to bring it over here, it would be touching, and you really don't want that. So, you want to make a shape like that, so it's going just over top. Um, the skylight we made earlier 
And you're gonna wanna bring it all the way back out. And so that it's one over this section. You see? So if you wanted to bring a line up, you could. Nice. Lots of white so far. Nice, 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 nice. And let's bring this all the way out. You're basically gonna just cover this whole thing. Now, this part you're gonna wanna bring the glass up so that it's right there, and you're gonna wanna extend it so that it is five blocks long in total. And you can just fill in the rest. That way we've got a really cool skylight feature when you're just on top of the roof. Or, uh, whatever you want to call this. Right, isn't this pretty cool so far? We can cap this. And we've already got our house taking quite a good shape. Right, so the next thing you want to do is uh, add sort of a, a feeling of structural integrity. And you're going to want to bring up some columns. And actually, we can already start changing some of the layout below because, well, you know, why not? So actually, we can make this column now into a pier, a two wide pier. And just bring that out on the top, like so. And then one over. Or two over, I mean. One column over. You're gonna wanna make this one the same width. So we've got two sort of jutting out features, and, and this'll make it look like the roof up here can actually support itself, so it's no longer just held by Minecraft physics. Awesome! And we can start work, uh, really brief work, actually, on on here if we want. You can bring this column up. Oops. All the way to... Well, let's keep it down there. Nice. So let's uh, bring this all the way out. Across, and you just want to connect it in there. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Alright guys, now that we've got a lot of the main structure on, we can start going on to details. First one I'm going to do is just drag this around and bring it in there. And you're going to want to bring this out. This is actually kind of a corralic touch. Keep in mind once again, whoa, that I made this house a good year ago, so before I really got into anything uh, more leaning towards the architectural side rather than the goofy, cartoony, cartoonistic style of Corralis. That's why this house may look different than a lot of the ones I've uploaded recently and probably ever. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Okay, here at the back, what you're going to want to do is a sort of cool shape. It's just going around in a, in a, in a circle all the way up until the very top. And right here, all I did was put in a bucket of water. Let that flow to the bottom. Hey, yikes. And where is that glowstone? Let's put in the glowstone here at the bottom. Nice. And uh, that's really it. Uh, what else do we have? I don't think there is much more as far as the uh, more detailed side is concerned. We may have a bit here, just because this was a bit of a weird section. I believe it went something like this. Nice. Uh, what else do we have? I honestly think that's it for that. Sorry, just something really quick. Make sure you cap this pillar right here. As well as the one just down here. Right, now all the outside is done. Let's go on to the inside. Now, for this section, you're going to see uh, that this is a little weird, so I just covered that up with sandstone stairs. Same with up here, and it's pretty simple because then you can just put in glass panes and everything is all nice and fine.
Nice. Now. You're going to want to extend the stairs down here. And this goes right down to the next floor. Which, actually, I think I'm going to do another little time lapse or sort of thing. So that you can... So that you don't have to listen to me talking awkwardly while I dig out the sand. All right, finally done all that. So now it's just a matter of uh, filling in a lot of the spaces. For example, this column goes all the way up. These columns, you can connect each of them, including the ones down here. All nice, great. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is actually, where are the slabs? Under each of these uh, glass panes here, whoa, time to, after, under each of these glass panes you're going to want to, well, one lower, you're going to want to put in some slabs, double slabs like that, so it looks kind of cool, right? And you can just fill in the rest with whatever. As for this section, it doesn't really matter what you do. I think actually I'm going to put in some sandstone stairs just because that might look a little bit cooler. Yeah, not really. And I think I'm actually going to do the same for here then. Right? So this is kind of the basement area of the whole house, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, what else is there to do here? Oh, actually, this one you can, if you want to. Like I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it the entire way down. Just make sure you have something nice on the other side. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Sand is fine. Um, guess I'll do the same with this one. Actually, first I should fix this so that it's all nice and pretty when we do actually bring the windows down. Awesome. Hmm. I don't know what I feel about this. Let's, uh, let's change, change this up a bit so that this is all sandstone here. There we go. Now, this section, if you wanted to, you could make this into a staircase, and you could just continue this down if you're playing this. If you're, if you're building this on a survival world, you know, that could be the entrance to your mines, or who knows what else, what goodies you have down there. So... Alright, so this is the basement, you've got your second floor right here, or your main floor, this is sort of like your second floor, and then you've got your top floor up here, which I guess could be the bedroom, which connects just out here and it's all pretty, all nice. Now this section, I'm going to just completely cover it up with glass, or actually, it's, uh, that's a little silly. Don't do that, don't do that. You can actually cover this up on the inside. Glass panes right here. Oh, why does that keep happening? And then getting your sandstone stairs. You can just cover that up right there. How nice is that? And I 
Hmm, what should we do here? Here I think we actually can go just around like that. That looks fine to me. So I think the best option would be actually just to extend this pillar out one more. So going all the way down, all the way up, and you're just going to want to cap it off and then just you know, bring it down. Really nice. Uh, that'll solve a few issues. If you want, you can bring this up, like so. Or what I'm going to do is glass panes there, like so. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's bring it up the whole way, right? Then we're gonna put some doors in. Really nice, really nice. And last but not least, oh, I already have them. Sandstone stairs right there. Maybe less. Nah. Sandstone stairs. No. Snow. No. Glass panes. There we go. Alright. So make sure you actually bring this out one more because that's what I just did. And without that, it might look a little strange. Not that it doesn't already. Trust me, it does look strange, and I bet you guys already know that. Nice. Okay, so this is the blah, This is the structure of the house. You've got basically the whole thing right there. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, gonna be having another video come out in the next uh, next few days, which is gonna be the interior and the exterior landscaping. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.